Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. This video is going to be different from my other ones because I'm doing my very first computer tutorial. I will be showing you how to build 3D models on the program 3D Builder for Windows. It's really easy once you learn how to do it. Let's get into the tutorial. First, go to the Insert tab and choose whatever shape you want. Or you can make your own custom shape by clicking on Custom, choosing your base shape from this drop-down menu, the latitude, the longitude, width, height, and roundness and then click add when you're done. You can use as many shapes as you want. I want to build a coffee mug, so in that case I would choose a cylinder. You then have this box down here. You click on this tool and you can move your object wherever you want. Or you click on this tool and you can rotate it however you want. And you click on this tool and you can resize your object. If you want to resize the entire object, click on one of these corners of this box thing and drag. If you only want to resize one side of your object, click on the double arrows on whatever side you want to resize and drag. You then have your object tab, which is kind of like your file menu. You can duplicate your selected objects, delete them, copy and paste them, cut them, which is the same thing as deleting them, settling them, which basically means setting them flat, mirror them, which is basically flipping them, and measure them, which I never actually use. You then have your edit tab where you can edit your object however you want. You can simplify it, another thing I never use. You can split it. When you split your object, you have the option to keep the top half of your object, the bottom half, or both halves. And you can also click and drag this green thing and rotate it to wherever you want to split it. You can smooth the edges of your object, which doesn't work so well with the cylinder. This only works on pointy objects like squares, cones, pyramids, and shapes like that. You can also emboss your object, which is basically engraving text into it, like that. Extrude down is another feature I never use. You can merge two objects into one. I'll get another shape so I can show you an example. You select two or more objects and then click merge and it'll merge into one object as you can see here. You can also intersect, which is merging and reshaping it in one. You can subtract an object, which will cut out a part of another object depending where you place the object you subtracted. And you can hollow which is another feature I never use. To create the handle of my coffee mug, I'm going to go back to Insert and choose a torus. As you can see, the pre-made torus is too thick to be a coffee mug handle, so I'm going to delete that and use the custom shape feature to make a thinner torus. So, I'm going to do Taurus, and then and then do that, round it out, and then 
I'm going to choose a radius. Okay, that's too thin. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm going to click Add. I'm then going to rotate the torus upwards like this. Make it a little smaller than it is. Place it into the cylinder to make it look like a coffee mug. I'm going to make it a little bigger. And then merge the two objects together. And to create the inside of my coffee mug, I'm going to get another cylinder, make it just a little smaller than the original cylinder, move it up to here, and then move it to the middle of the cylinder and then go to edit and click subtract. I'm then going to get another cylinder, shrink it so that it's the same size as the inside part I just cut out, move it into that inside part I just cut out, resize this side until it looks like a coffee mug, Do not merge these together yet. This cylinder inside of here is going to act as the coffee in your coffee mug. Now I have the shape I want. You then have the paint tab where you could color your object however you want. First, you select the objects you want to change the color of. You can click on color and choose whichever color you want your object to be, including making your own custom colors and you can choose to color the entire shape or just a part of it using this slider. Or you could click on texture and instead of choosing a color, you choose a texture. You can either choose a texture from the drop-down window or click load and choose a photo from your computer to use as a texture. I never use the texture picker, and the camera feature is for taking a picture with your webcam. I also never use these two things. You have the same coverage slider as you did with the color tab, and you can also turn on layered paint and do this. Yeah, when you're done coloring your object, just, just click off. Click on the screen. There is also the Material tab, where you have this drop-down menu with different options for materials. You have your Simple Material, which is the same as just the normal color. You have your Realistic Material, which will give you different options to make your object look more realistic. And you have your Translucent Material, which will make your object transparent. I'm going to do the Realistic Material. So here you have the same drop-down menu with all the colors. You can make your object metallic, and you even get all these pre-made metallic colors like gold, silver, aluminum, titanium, copper, and bronze. I don't want my coffee mug to be metallic because I don't think there's such a thing as a metallic coffee mug. And I'm going to make mine a lightish brown color, which is a custom color. Like that. You then have the option to make your object more glossy, which means shiny, or more matte, which means not shiny, with this slider thing. I want my coffee mug to be a, an equal balance of metallic and glossy. So I'm going to do it right in the middle. And when you're done coloring your object, click Apply. Or with the Color tab, click Color. Or with the Texture tab, you can also click Apply. 
I'm going to give the coffee part of my coffee mug a translucent material. And I'm going to color it very dark brown, just like coffee. So I'm gonna start with black, and then, then try to turn it into a dark brown. And that's how you build 3D models on 3D Builder. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it helped you. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, if you want me to do more 3D Builder tutorials in the future or just computer tutorials in general, tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye!